Recently, I've had an unusual situation where I have had to take on these date strings that you can see here and convert them to a UTC date and then to an ISO string. This is not the most ideal way of taking in dates. It's much better to do it as a date format, but we've got the string here and we have to work with it. So in this tutorial, I'll go through how to create an ISO string from a date text input intended for UTC date in JavaScript. I'll go through the basics here and then you can read the written tutorial in the link below for further details. Let's get cracking. So first things first, let's make a function and we will just leave this here for now and we'll just call that uh, function and we'll be explicit and say create UTC date for ISO. And we'll go date string. Cool. And set that up all neatly and press enter. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to just create a couple of samples using these examples above to call this function and then take in these date strings and then convert them to UTC and then ISO format. So first things so first, we'll go console and instead of log, this time we'll go table and make everything nice and pretty. So you can see below. And then we'll open up some brackets and we enter. And what we'll do is we'll just copy this in. May as well copy the whole function in here, paste, and then we'll replace this date string with each one of these. So copy down and we'll hit comma. And then I'll just uh, shift alt down arrow two times and we'll do the same. We'll add each one just so we've got a sample so you know everything works with each one of these. Cool bananas. So we can get rid of these dates at the top here. We've got them all in. And now let's fill out the function. So the problem that we face is that if I just create an ISO string based on the dates I've got. So for example, if I go here and I, I go const so date string equals new date and go date string and then type in to ISO string, which is very helpful. And then let's return that. And let's let's have a look at what happens. So probably what you're expecting to see here is the 14th of January popping up in the ISO date string. So hit save or hit uh, control alt and N to run. And now we've got something weird going on. So look down the bottom here at the output and you can see it is uh, 2022, the first and then 13, so in ISO format, the year, the month, the day, and then the time. And then it's the time is 1300 hours in Zulu time or UTC time. So that's not what we want. What we want is to convert this time that we have as our input into 2022 of January the 14th at midnight in UTC time. So why is it doing it? Well, what it's doing is recognizing your local time and trying to help you out and converting it to UTC time, where in fact we want to do the opposite. So let's get rid of this. And the first thing we need to do is to get the offset. So we'll go const offset equals and we'll go new date so we can get the new date here and then we can use the javascript get time zone offset method here and that's going to return how many minutes offset my location is from utc so if it's 11 hours you could uh, multiply that by 60 minutes and that will get 660 but it's away from UTC, so instead of being plus 660, it's going to be minus 660. So let's just prove that. So we'll go console, or we'll just return. It's going to be weird, but we'll just do a return offset. And we'll go control, I'll enter run. And you can see we've got minus 660 minutes. Okay, so that's cool. But with JavaScript dates, most things are handled in, in milliseconds. So we'll need to convert that in a moment. But the, the next thing we need to do is to pass the date from these strings. We can do that with JavaScript's date pass method. So let's go const my date equals, and here we can go date. So we're not using the new date constructor here. We're using the date dot pass 
method. Uh, you can use the new date constructor, but I have found it is a little bit slower in testing. So only a fraction though. So now we'll go date string, which is our parameter. And so let's just test that by logging my date. And we'll save. So that's going to give us the 13th January 2022 at 1300 hours UTC time in milliseconds. So we need to subtract that 1300 hours and bring it back to the 14th. So what we need to now do is to add that offset time. Now remember the offset time is in minus 660. So we want to convert that to a plus and we can simply do that just with the minus statement here. So two minuses equals a plus. If you remember your elementary school work, so offset and then I'll multiply it by 60 seconds in a minute times 1000 milliseconds in a second, or you could make it 60,000. It's clearer this way. Okay, so let's hit save and we will test it again, see what result here. Just remember this value, control alt N again, and you can see that now it has changed a little bit. Let's make a date out of it again, so we can go new date. using the date constructor and we'll hit save and see what result we get there. So control alt N again. And now we've got the 2022 January 14th, um, right on midnight in UTC time. So that's exactly what we want. Last thing we need to do is to convert that properly to ISO string. Take this out of the console log. Okay, and we'll go const date as ISO and I'll go dot two ISO string it's this one up here and hit enter and then return date as ISO cool hit save control s and then control alt n to run scroll down have a little look and now we've got our dates here all in our index so it has been converted to a string and now we've got the uh, 2022 0114 at midnight Zulu or UTC time using the ISO string format. If you want to learn some more details about how these date methods work in JavaScript, or if you want to learn a bit more about this workflow, check out my written tutorial in the description below. If you like the tutorial, please hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Until next time.